Welcome back guys. This video is going to be about match mode and this is a very cool feature that Helix has. You start match mode by pressing M. And the first feature here to talk about is MM or go to matching bracket. What that basically means is that you can jump from one pair for one thing to the other thing as long as there's a pair. For example, here I have these two parentheses and I can jump from one to the other just by pressing MM. I can do the same here with these square brackets. I can just press MM and I will jump from one to the other. And this really works with any kind of pair. So it, it also works with uh, these angle brackets here. For curly braces, doesn't really matter. Then there is MI and MA. So let me first talk about MI. As you can see, MI, it says here that that does select inside objects. So you can basically select anything inside an object. For example, here, if I do MI, M, I will just match, I will just select anything inside any kind of matching pair. So this is very unspecific, but useful. You can also be more specific. For example, if I do M, I, angle brackets, whoops, that was the wrong key there. M, I, angle brackets, I will select inside the angle brackets. And the same goes for M, I, curly braces, I will select inside these curly braces here. And M, A, M match select around object. That's kind of similar, except it basically also selects whatever pair you're trying to select in. So it's it selects everything inside the pair, but also the pair itself. So for example, if I do this here, M, A, angle brackets, I will select everything inside these angle brackets, but also the angle brackets themselves. And the same goes for curly braces here. So M, A, curly braces. We'll select everything inside the curly braces, but also the curly braces itself. So that just means, you know, so you can remember this by uh, one is match inside and the other one is match around. M, I, A, and M, I. And the cool thing is that this not only works with uh, curly braces, but also with other kind of objects. For example, here I have this function. Now I can do MAF for function and I will select everything around the function basically. And this works with a lot of things. For example, well, let me just show you here what you can, what you, what you can do. You can do word. So MAW would be match around word. That basically, so if you do MIW, that uh, just selects the word. But if you do M-A-W, that selects the word and the white space around it. And you can also, for example, do paragraphs. You can do type definitions. You can do functions, as I showed you. You can do arguments, comments, tests, data structures, even git changes with G. That's, that's pretty cool as well. So let me just show you a couple of these. For example, yeah, let's just... Uh, do this paragraph here. And now let me just comment this paragraph out with control C. And now if I do M I C for comment, I will select this comment here. And I can also M A comment and I will select the whole comment here. And now do you see this bar on the left there, this orange bar? That means that this is a change that is not committed to Git yet. And that's basically a Git change. So I can also do MAG for Git change. And I will also select this Git change here. So this is very powerful, guys. So let me now get to the uh, other feature here. And that is surround replace, surround delete, and surround add. So you can basically if you are a Vim user, you will know what this is, or you may know what this is. This is kind of like uh, that one Vim plugin where you can, you know, add surrounds to words and stuff. For example, uh, if I select this word here with MIW, well, let me just get this one here. 
MIW. And then I can do M S for surround add and then parentheses and I will add these parentheses here. And now if I want to change these parentheses, I can do M R for surround replace. And then I can select these parentheses here. And now I can, you know, replace them with, uh, let's say curly braces. Now I've done that. So that's pretty cool. And you can also delete them with M D for surround delete and then curly braces. Whoops. That was the wrong one. M D curly braces. And you can also do this, uh, with just M, you know, for example, if I do M D M, it will just get the first matching pair and delete that. So that's very handy as well. And yeah, I think that's it for match mode. See you guys in the next video. Bye.